What's up sa inyo mga kapamilya, kapuso at kapatid at kahit ano pang kay kayo sa buhay ko. Thank you for being here at of course, gusto kong magpasalamat sa lahat ng tao na sumorporta sa akin sa kauna-unahang vlog na pinost ko. Alam kong napakatagal na nung footage na yon Back in 2018 pa yon when my family and I went to Hong Kong to celebrate Christmas. So, ngayon lang ako nagkaroon ng time to do this because of the enhanced community quarantine because I chose to stay at home and be safe. Um, naging victim na rin kasi ako ng H1N1 back in 2009. So, medyo sakitin kasi ako kaya um, hindi ko pwedeng i-risk kasi maraming mapapahamak if I um, catch the COVID-19. So, that leads me to our topic today which is knowing how to keep your life on track while being under the enhanced community quarantine and staying at home. Okay, so if you guys are ready, ready na ako. Let's go! Okay again, so today ang pag-uusapan natin is how to keep your life on track while being under the enhanced community quarantine. How to keep your safe, yourself safe at the same time, keeping others safe as well. Hindi naman kasi ibig sabihin na nasa bahay ka, is safe ka na. No? Um, it is possible for us na nakapag-grocery na tayo for the whole 3 months. Or maybe 2 months. Or kahit 1 month lang. Pero at the end of the day, there are still chances na pwede tayo lumabas to actually do more um, buying or more grocery. Or kung hindi man tayo lalabas to do the grocery is baka magpa-deliver tayo for additional supplies. So, paano pag nangyari yun? Because kung nagpa-deliver man tayo, hindi natin sure na yung dinala sa atin na gamit is safe. Especially kung pagkain yan. Okay? Um, so, what we do here, especially at home, is that once the delivery arrives, hindi namin siya pinapatong kung saan kami kumakain. Um, sineseparate agad namin yung canned goods, yung mga boxes, dun sa mga perishables, which is yung meats, yung vegetables, yung fish. And ang ginagawa namin sa mga perishables namin is that as soon as possible, hinuhugasan namin siyang mabuti with, um, with running water to make sure that it's um, cleaned as much as possible and um, lahat ng bacteria is matanggal dun sa sa perishables namin and then we store them sa refrigerator um, agad no, sa freezer, sorry, sa freezer sa freezer namin siya um, sa store, yung mga vegetables yun yung nilalagay namin sa refrigerator and then yung mga canned goods and boxes natin, yung mga nasa plastic what we do is that we disinfect them by um, wiping them out with alcohol and a disinfectant that, that we made, we saw it online um, yung water kasi nilalagay namin ng bleach so that's what we use to disinfect our our canned goods, plastics, and yung mga um, boxes namin. And then we make sure, syempre, hindi naman pwede na yung delivery is papasok mag-isa sa loob ng bahay, di ba? So we have a separate slipper for that, pair of slippers for that. And yung pair of slippers namin is iniiwanan namin sa loob ng, sa labas ng bahay. And we have a dip, different set of slippers for for ano, for the living room and even in the room namin. Um, just to make sure that we are safe. Hindi naman sa pagiging praning or uh, masyadong paranoid. We just wanna be safe and make sure that um, we do not get the COVID-19 kasi... Sobrang hirap nun. Ako, sakitin ako personally. Nagkaroon ako ng H1N1 back in 2009. And this is not the first quarantine that I've dealt with. Actually, when I caught the 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 flu, the H1N1 in, in 2009, naka-quarantine ako by myself sa Makati Med. So, one week ako doon. And although hindi siya as grabe as COVID-19, I don't know, I really don't know. You just have to search it up, look it up. Don't trust what I will be saying totally. Um, so ayun, going back is what we actually do at home is that we try to be fit at least um, every other day or every day we do treadmill, we just walk or if we can jog, ginagawa namin yon. ako personally, I've been dancing again, so I wanna I wanna maintain 
actually because I really lost um, a couple of kilos already since the enhanced community quarantine started. Um, I've been doing intermittent fasting, pero yung kinakain ko during my 8 hour window for eating is that I make sure that I have proportion my food so I have the correct amount of vegetables for complex carbohydrates. And if I want to do rice, I do rice. I don't restrict myself from doing so. Um, of course, fish and meat, so proportioned lahat yan. No? Um, and then I make sure that I burn them the next day because the last three hours or last two hours of your intermittent fasting, if you're doing 16-8, is that the last two to three hours of your 16 hours is actually um, the best time for you to do your exercise and your workout because that's the time that you are burning cal um, fats already by that time because the first two to three hours actually up to the eight hour is actually burning of calories for your 16 hour window of fasting now um if you're gonna go out and you need to buy more supplies at home um you can do so meron naman kayo allotted window allotted time to actually go out pero make sure that when you do go out please 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 wear mask and don't go after the curfew hours. Um, I mean, before the curfew hours, para hindi kayo abutan ng curfew. Um, make sure that you wear masks because you have to make sure that you are safe and that you also protect others, other people. Kasi hindi mo naman masasabi that when you go out, is hindi mo sila mahawa. Kasi hindi mo masasabi, baka mamaya carrier ka. ba? So, just to, make, just to make sure, of course. Ngayon, for those people who doesn't have any choice na kailangan nilang magtrabaho, please also wear mask going to work. And if you're allowed to wear mask sa loob ng office, please do so. And we thank you for helping the economy running. Um, susi kayo para hindi um, totally lumubog ang economy natin. And of course, by the way, we want to thank all the frontliners out there. Saludo po kaming lahat sa inyo. We are praying for your safety. We are praying for good health para sa inyong lahat. And we want to, and we can't thank you enough for doing your job. So again, maraming, 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 maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. So ayun, sa mga nagtatrabaho pa rin until now, call centers sa mga bangko, maybe if you're still running sa back-end, back operations nyo, I'm not sure. Um, just please make sure that you are safe. Um, there are ways for you to actually be safe. And that is by, again, number one, wearing mask. Number two, uh, maintaining social distancing. Um, number three, uh, making sure that you wash your hands well. Even yung mga nasa bayo, you have to wash, wash your hands well. Please watch um, um, videos on how to wash your hands well because um, it's been said that you need to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds and the best way to do it is to sing happy birthday, happy birthday song while doing it. So, watch nyo lang yung videos about that. You can search it up on Google or YouTube and you'll be seeing a lot, a tons of videos about it. And then, ano ba ba? Bring alcohol, guys. Um, use alcohol every now and then. And if you want to moisturize your hands, kasi although nakaka-dry kasi talaga yung alcohol, minsan nagsusugat-sugat kayo, um, you can moisturize your hands with maybe aloe vera or if you have any moisturizing lotion. Um, of course, you can use that. So, for you also, yung mga nagtatrabaho, um, we know why you're doing this. This is not just for yourself. This is for your family. So, we are praying for you and your family as well. I hope you are safe. And just like sa frontliners, hindi naman kayo bumabangan para na sa mga pasyente o sa mga empleyado or para sa mga customers nyo. Bumabangan kayo, hindi lang din para sa pamilya nyo, kundi para sa amin din. Kaya sobrang maraming 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 salamat po. So, I think that is all for now. I think I've given like 5 to 6 tips on how to keep your life moving forward while being on the enhanced community quarantine. So, again, a lot of prayers for everybody. And, sana matapos na to. Let's pray for the whole world. Yun la. So, that concludes my vlog number two about COVID-19 and how to keep your life moving forward during the enhanced community quarantine. So, again, this is Byron. 
So if you like this video, kahit hindi mo nagustuhan, please just like, comment, share, at of course, huwag niyong kakalimutan mag-subscribe. And you can leave your comment down below if you have any suggestions. I'll make sure to get to them and I'll see you soon guys. Bye-bye!